Commercial Driver License, or CDL, is a government-issued document which is necessary for anyone who wants to work as a bus, truck, or car driver, or in the transportation industry. The licensing process is straightforward. You won't need to get a commercial license until you pass the required test of the various laws that apply to driving commercial vehicles. A CDL must be issued by the Regional Transport Office, or RTO. Different obligations of an RTO incorporates gathering vehicle charge, giving customized enrollments, and keeping a record of drivers and vehicles. Want to know about it in detail? Well, stay tuned till the end. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will talk about how do you start your own trucking business within the first year of getting your CDLs. Meanwhile, subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon. That being done, let's start. The following requirements must be met before a commercial license can be obtained. Age. Depending on the state's regulations, a CDL applicant must be between 18 and 22 years old to apply. Education. At a minimum, each applicant must have passed class eight. To process the various signs and rules, you need to have a very low level of intelligence and memory. License for students. Any driver who wants to apply for a commercial license must have a learner's license in order to learn how to drive. LL gives a person permission to drive a car for a certain amount of time. After passing the written exam, LL is awarded. Training. The applicant must have completed training at a government motor school. A motor school affiliated with the state government might also be useful. Test for driving. The applicant's driving skills will be tested, and if they pass, the presiding officer will issue the applicant with a commercial driver's license. If you stuck with us this far, you probably are ready to start your own trucking business. Now that you're convinced, let's talk about how to start a trucking business by looking at the essential tasks you'll need to complete before joining a huge convoy on the road. Given that the fundamental operating principles of a trucking company are relatively straightforward, it might not appear that you need to write a business plan for it. However, writing a business plan helps you to concentrate on your company's most important aspects. A good business plan explains why your company was started how much money it will need to start, how much money it will cost to make money, and other details about your strategy. Writing a business plan for a trucking company keeps you focused on building your company according to a blueprint. This is especially helpful when you get started and may not have time to refocus on your overall strategy. Almost every application for a small business loan will also require a business plan, which is equally important. Before applying for funding, you should have made a plan because it will make the process go more smoothly. The next thing you should do to start a trucking business is to register it with any local or state governments that require it after you have written a solid business plan. Before submitting your paperwork, you should consider the various types of business entities that are available to you. Every business element offers different individual responsibility securities tax assessment strategies, possession structures, and other specialized contrasts. To safeguard your personal assets, look into limited liability companies, or LLCs, if you are starting a one-person trucking business. If you are starting your business with a business partner, you should also think about the different kinds of limited liability companies, LLCs, which are meant for partnerships and corporations. There are also other types of businesses that you should think about, but it's best to start with these two and decide from there if you need to use something else. The method involved with consolidating your business is somewhat clear, regardless of whether it's a little desk work weighty. The majority of the time, all that is required is some supporting documentation regarding the principals and founders of the company, information regarding tax identification, a general business agreement, and a few other materials regarding your soon-to-be business, which largely differ depending on the state in which you are registering. Next, ensure that your trucking company is in compliance with the law. You will need to investigate insurance, permits, and business licenses in order to achieve this. Due to the unique challenges and liabilities that trucking businesses face, it is essential to obtain all state-required licenses and insurance policies. If you intend to establish your company's headquarters within a state, you will be required to obtain a business license in most, if not all, of those states. 
Before your first shipment travels, you will need to set up these policies and licenses. Another permit you should get is a global enlistment plan. If your truck crosses state lines and weighs 26,000 pounds, this is required. You can drive your truck in all 50 states and some Canadian provinces thanks to this. Consult the guidelines for your state to determine exactly what you need to comply with local regulations as rules vary from state to state. Your business truck will be one of your most critical speculations while figuring out how to begin a shipping organization. It's fundamental that you pick the right one for your business. You should think about the following when choosing a truck. Price, comfort level, your preferred cab style, weather resistance, whether they have multiple dealerships across the US, weight limit, new versus used, and whether you're operating locally or long distances. Purchasing a commercial truck is not cheap, as previously stated. As a result, in order to get your trucking business off the ground, you'll probably need to raise money for the start. Consider opening a business bank account and credit card in addition to the options for funding listed below. Without a doubt, trucking can be profitable. Starting a trucking business will also undoubtedly necessitate a significant amount of capital. A commercial truck costs approximately $80,000. Naturally, there is also a capital required to maintain your fleet's peak performance. You will need to include the following items in your business budget in addition to purchasing your truck. Registration and documentations, business permits and licenses, truck maintenance fees, accounting and invoicing software. These costs can add up. The Small Business Administration reports that transport and trucking businesses borrowed an average of $106,000. Therefore, you won't get very far learning how to start a trucking business with no money. To make your business plan a reality, you will probably need to apply for additional funding. So what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below. And that's all for the day, guys. If you found this video interesting, make sure to hit the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update from us. Thank you for watching. We'll see you at the next one. Until then, peace.